Hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm no cinema photographer, just a dude with a camera. Anyways, we are still looking at yuccas, and first I wanted to show you how these got fried again after we trimmed them not that long ago, just because it's been so hot here in California. So I had one of my viewers say that their yucca is growing tall and skinny and not branching out, and whether they should cut it. And I say, yes, of course, because here's what the results will be. Where you cut it, it's just gonna make tons of babies. I mean, look at here. Let's see if we can get these weeds out of the way. Tons of growth right there. And tons of growth you can see on the one that I just cut five weeks ago, maybe six weeks ago. So this video is gonna be about more about propagating, just cutting them into sections and propagating them in water and comparing the results to popping off these babies and rooting those in water. Hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, first up, what you want to do is you want to cut one of your long branches off down really low, like so. And it gives you room to take a couple of different cuts as we're going to do here. And then I like everything the same size uniform, so I'm going to line these up and cut them down to where they're the same size and kind of square them off so they are a little bit more manageable. And also try and make sure that I stand them all up in the correct direction. And then I'm just going to put them into a stainless steel jar and we're going to take a look every couple of weeks and see how they come out so with it being as hot as it is i don't want the thing to dry out so what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the nursery and keep an eye on it today is august 27th 2020 all right i'm at the two week mark here so these yucca stalks have been sitting in the water for just you know in that stainless steel container just for two weeks and you can see that we've got some growth actually happening can't really zoom in but there you see one two there's like three little babies growing on that one and a couple of these have a swollen little nodules that i could you know see start to pop up and same thing you can feel them like I could feel one right there popping up all right they're all gonna go back in the water and we will check again in two weeks today is September 20th so another week has passed and I wanted to show you guys the progress on this one here that just had a couple of little nubs as you can see it's got lots of growth there isn't any roots yet but as you can see after three weeks I have a lot of growth so I got to be gentle with this now because I don't want to knock these little guys off and each one of these, you can see, there's plenty of nubs starting. And they're just starting to break through. This one's a little lower down to the water line. And more nubs. So that's three weeks. And so what I've been doing with these They've just been sitting there harmlessly in the water all by themselves. And every day I come by and I just kind of squirt a little water on it and try and get some on the top. I've seen a lot of people where they seal these with a wax or a wound paste. But I just decided I'm just going to water it from there. Okay, like I said, today is... September 20th, 2020, week number three of growing yucca 
from stock or stems or branches or stumps as I'm calling them, yucca stumps. See you in a week. All right, today's September 27th, so another week has passed. And as you can see, we have real significant growth on this one here. Remember, it just had little nubs last time. That technically could be harvested at this point, and you can get that little one to live. But I'm going to keep them in the water a little bit longer. So let's look at some of these. I've got to be careful now because now that these all have nubs, I've already found a little baby one that broke off because they got moved and beat together. So anyway, there's another one. You can see great movement. I mean, had great growth on that. And this one's kind of funny because I had accidentally had this one upside down for the longest time. And you can see it's, there's a couple of nodes that started while it was under the water. And here's another one. So it's successful so far. After one month, we've got growth on every single one, but no roots yet. All right, let's give another week. It's October 5th and another week has passed. So this puts us right at week five. And as you can see, we've got a lot going on. Except, oh, look at that. That looks like the first root that I've seen so far. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of these other ones. Not quite, but we do have a lot of pups coming off of that. No roots, but some good pups. Now let's take a look at this biggest one that I still don't see anything in the way of roots, but look at that. Whoa. All right, the one that was upside down is right here, and I still haven't figured out what's going on. Maybe that wasn't right side up, so I'm going to put it back in the other way. And then the last one is right here. So, as you can see, week five, we've got lots of growth. All right, now, we're also week five on these pups that I've pulled out. They seem to have grown a lot bigger, but I still don't quite see any roots happening yet to speak of. And this was with no, you know, root and hormone or anything. I just popped them off, put them in there where normally, ooh, we have one rotted, where normally I would put them into the dirt. So as you can see, nothing going on there after five weeks. Okay, just for the heck of it, I went out to the garden and got one that I planted in the dirt about two weeks earlier than these. So these are about seven weeks, let's say. Okay, and at seven weeks, you can see we've got a little bit of roots going on. So that's my comparison between stumps and pups, dirt and water. All right, I think I'm done with this one for now. I'm going to go ahead and pop these up. I think I'm just going to go put them right into some wet soil and let them start to root because, as you can see, the dirt seemed to root a lot faster. My guess, more nutrients in it. So I'm going to get these all into individually pots and then we'll come back in a couple of months and we'll take a look at them. So I hope you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button and look for me on Instagram at the LA TV channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.